with the top. So this is a truck I recently acquired. It was my father's, and I worked out a deal with them about, uh, or him and his wife, about my BMW and this truck. Because they were wanting to sell this truck, I was wanting to sell my car. And uh, we ended up making a deal here. See, it's an F350, uh, 1986, I want to say, pretty sure. Um, flatbed. Uh, it's got this rust right here, which... And that's the only spot I really see of, of uh, rust. And uh, I'm guessing maybe there was batteries or s some batteries in here for a while or something. But that almost looks like... I'm not really sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure, though, that that can be fixed uh, from the right person. I don't know if I could do it, but I might try it. Uh, it's got these, like chrome simulators on the wheels it's a carburetor i'm gonna put on it that's more on that in a moment uh i also got some d-rings to put on here for a safety chain because this has a gooseneck and uh it's got the places for the chains up there but not down here so i got some d-rings for that uh you know pretty basic stuff it is uh has this but it is not four-wheel drive i have not figured out yet why that's in there because by the vin number this truck is not was not built four-wheel drive so i have no clue what's up with that you know i was wondering after i made that video see that looks m maybe like that's a four-wheel drive handle i don't know but shouldn't the four-wheel drive controls be wouldn't they be on the other side and like further up there or maybe here or not over here though i don't think am i wrong i don't think this thing has a dump bed or a pto or anything i'll have to look i guess i'm pretty sure i would have known that though if it did i guess we'll see somewhere or maybe that's i don't know I'll figure it out got a dent right here miss an emblem whatever no big deal I just wanted a truck to be a truck and I wanted a bigger truck than my F-150. So this is, works out pretty well. So as you see, it has an HEI distributor. I put that on there like years ago because that's what he had a lot of trouble at. I don't like those either, the Duras part. I don't like that stuff. Uh, and let's see, and a GM one wire alternator. I don't know who put that on, but that's on it. Uh, you see the engine is very, very dirty. It's a 460 forward and the carburetor is really nasty it looks like someone put silicone on the float bowls and this is there was i just got done back from driving this and uh this whole thing was full of gas and all i could smell when i was driving it it was burning my freaking eyes uh so i gotta address that that's i'm just gonna slap that other carburetor i got on it and then see uh see what happens because this i believe is a 600 cfm the other one I have is a 750 CFM that I was going to put on the 302, but it is too big for it, really. This thing's got a fairly new slave cylinder, but you see it's leaking and it's rubbing right. It's rubbing, uh, yeah, right here. And these wires were down here and this is rubbing right here. And I, was, I looked it over. I hadn't look, looked at it real hard. I've looked at it a little bit. And the AC's not is gone. I got, I'm gonna probably get that working too, but it's kind of a kind of a mess here. So you know how I feel about these HEI distributors too. I don't know if that's gonna stay or go. For right now, it's gonna stay, but if it uh, goes out, it'll go. Because uh, you see how much room you have to run an air cleaner, and I don't know where the hell the ones at for this. I'm gonna have to go get one. Um, but yeah, this is rubbing on the freaking steering shaft. I don't know what's up with that, but this thing, you know, and this is a new, new booster. Uh, this thing's sat a lot. They don't really need this truck because my dad and stepmom got like, probably four, five, six, maybe between four and six. I'm not exactly sure, but F series trucks uh, from like the eighties, nineties and two thousands. So. They really didn't need this one because my dad has a like a 
2008 or 9 or something F350 that he could pretty much pull anything with. This one is really uh, more of a farm truck. And also, the thing I was going to mention, you see on this, if I can get this cap off of here. This right here. So a lot of people seem to think that that is um, stop leak. But what that is, is the uh, phosphorus and, you know, what, what, whatever all the additive package for the old coolant if it's not maintained it'll sludge up like that all the uh minerals and chemicals and stuff will break down and it'll sludge up so i gotta flush the cooling system in here before it gets too hot because i really got this to do towing with although i don't have much to tow i just thought it would be a good idea to have a truck to tow with in case i uh could make some money towing some stuff for some people or something but this is pro i don't think any of this is um, some of this wiring, I think, is just can just go. And I don't know what this yellow wire is about. But that's going to have to go. That you see that? That is. Uh, those are not for cars, people. Those are for houses. I wonder where that goes. Let's see. Oh. Uh, okay. So I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I'm gonna put valve cover gaskets on here. And then put the carburetor on here. Uh, and see how it runs with that on there. I don't know anything about that carburetor. I bought it for a hundred bucks, hadn't done anything to it. And uh, I'm gonna slap it on and see what happens. But uh, hey, you know what though? I'll uh, start this thing up right fast. That radio also has to go got to go no tack either that maybe give me a tack probably will get a tack to put on here but right, here we go i think it has something to do with that gas leak starting at that little bit because that much gas has ran down here so something's up